got the latest ado. <laughs> <laughs> Morning to this version. No, I don't know. Hello and good morning, everyone. Have you already opened the vlog? Nothing. Hello and good morning, everyone. I'm here. I know what we're doing. We have started out the morning already. I got up really early, cleaned out my car, took all the trash out of my car. I went and took it to get detailed and went to the gym. And Brandon just picked me up and now I'm back home and we are making a delicious breakfast. The kids told me they wanted German pancakes today. And a lot of you people who live in Germany or probably are German are wondering why we call them that. I don't know. And you all messaged me last time at Mandy's and told me, why do you call it that? Because that's not what we call them here. <laughs> we just call them pancakes That's here. That's what we call them here. <laughs> so I'm making a German pancake this morning with coconut syrup and the kids are super excited. It's what they've requested. Their first day after school is over. So the way you make these so-called German pancakes, you make like a little batter and then while you're making the batter, you let butter melt while the oven preheats. So I've melted my butter and then you just pour this delicious batter in the pan and then you bake it. It's super easy. Now that I've got the batter in both of those, I'm going to put them in the oven and they're going to puff up. Only cook for about 20 minutes. While I'm cooking the German pancake, Cakes, I'm going to make really delicious syrup that we've had before. We had this in Bear Lake and it's our coconut syrup. I think I've actually posted this on the blog. For those of you that don't know, we have a blog. This is HowWeBangEm.com and on the blog, that's also where you can go purchase merch. I have all my recipes, not all of them. I have a lot of recipes there. I'm hoping this summer I'll be able to manage my time a little bit better, be able to get more recipes on the blog. But I think both of these recipes are on the blog. This is super easy. All I'm gonna do is take three fourths cup buttermilk, a cup of sugar and a stick of butter. I'm gonna melt that till everything is all dissolved and it's boiling for one minute. Then I'm going to throw in and coconut extract and some baking soda and you guys it makes the most delicious syrup we've ever had and then I also have some cut up strawberries left over from last night's dinner and I have some bananas we'll put those on top and it should be really good hi Lazzy you can see they're already starting to take their strange shape. Came to a boil for one minute and then I put in the coconut extract and the baking soda and it kind of makes it frothy. And then what I do is I just put it in a mason jar. It is so good. It's amazing, you guys. It really is so good. Did you talk about the first time we had this was in Bear Lake and like yes. ever since then? Everybody went crazy. I think she made like a triple batch. Should we pull these out? Let's do it. I think they're ready. Oh my gosh, that is so German. Just kidding, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like a giant pool. This is a swimming pool for coconut syrup. Oh, baby. This is what they look like when they're done. They really do look like swimming pools. Coconut syrup's already. I've got some strawberries and some bananas. I got some orange juice last night at the store. You guys ready to eat? Yeah. yeah. You ready, Hazy? Yeah. So most of you know, you've heard me talk about how the fact that I'm going to Vegas this weekend. I am going with all of the Bingham girls. We are going to go see Celine Dion. We are so excited. Doesn't even really feel like I'm leaving yet, but I'm leaving in the morning after church. Today, we had a fun breakfast. My car is getting detailed right now. I've got to go pick it up later today. Just because I've had kids in it for so long that I'm like, having all adults in it, I might want it cleaned. On our last road trip, it kind of took a little toll on it. So getting it cleaned up. So right now, I am currently out of breath as you can tell. I just did the floors, took out the garbage and it had a hole in it and stuff got everywhere so the whole floor is sticky so I did that. But I'm gonna go up and finish laundry just trying to get as much done as I can before I leave so Brandon doesn't have to worry about any of that. <sighs> I'm out of breath. He can worry about having fun with the kids. We have a full day ahead of us. We are loaded up here in the truck because mom's car's off getting detailed. It's gonna be gone all day. They need it until six o'clock tonight, they said. I don't know if that's because it's so messy or because it just takes a long time to do a thorough detail. It will be spick and span sparkling clean for her trip to Vegas. She's driving all the girls down. She volunteered, she's actually quite excited about it. We're gonna have some fun here. Starting off with right now, oh, it goes to 100 now. Oh, so it stops yeah. at 100. We're getting some gas in the truck, you guys. Been a while since we filled up all the way. Oh, Hashtag God. truck life. Pump stops at 100. It could probably go past that if we needed it to. Go ahead and take that out, right, guys. This is bringing back memories of the motocross days. We've all loaded up in the truck. We've got some chairs back here and we're headed to Salt Lake. We're gonna go all the way downtown to go see our nephew's soccer game and then we'll be back for some more fun later this afternoon. Turn the turbo. <laughs> We just barely got home from my nephew's game. He did super awesome. We've unloaded the car, and as soon as we got the car unloaded, I got a phone call saying my car was ready, so. We're off. We are off to go pick up my car, and perfect. It looks like it's gonna rain now, so that's just Pretty sure we'll be driving awesome. on your freshly detailed car in the rain. <laughs> Which, it's fine. I mostly care about the inside. I can go get it washed down the street. We have a pass that I can get it washed unlimited. I wanna see what it looks like brand new. I'll come home, get everything packed, go through a couple of the things that I do to leave the house and leave everyone else home. We just pulled up to get my car. You probably can't tell, but it's been sitting outside, and now it's been rained on all day long. 
long, so that's... You think they've got tons of room inside. They leave it inside. We don't have to worry about driving home in the rain. It's been uh, sitting I in the rain I want to go day. ask them, like, hey, will you just draft my car before I leave? <laughs> Once they wash the outside, it's going to look awesome. I'm sure it looks... Oh, whoa. Oh, she's going to be pumped. You guys can't see it, but it looks brand new in there. It is sweet. It is silly that they leave it out in the rain, but you know what? It just barely started raining, so can't fault them for that. Super stoked. Mindy's so fun that she wanted this all cleaned up. She's actually going to put little, like, waters in all the cup holders. She's got fun snacks, even magazines for the girls to read as they drive so she's really trying to make it fun trying to make it a little more than just a road trip she really was excited to volunteer to drive on this and as part of that wanted to have it spick and span looking brand new i'm not gonna crawl back there because my feet are all dirty but it looks pretty awesome back there too it looks amazing it smells really good Are you ready to chauffeur to Vegas? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's like all slippery because it's so what? clean. Woo! <laughs> That's like the oil that they put into the leather maybe. No, I'm not even You're used to there being gonna, like, like stop at a stop like <laughs> <laughs> It looks amazing. I just said this like kind of joking but kind of serious. I don't think it looked this good when we bought it. Bring so it. clean. See if it starts. <gasps> it even starts. Okay. See you home. You're gonna be looking fresh to show for the ladies. Up dudes in this thing. To Vegas. Swagger wagon. Love you. Alright, you guys. Um, what am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> Don't put that in the vlog. I got back. The car looks and smells amazingly delicious. I have been packing up and I've made a really big effort to get all the laundry done. I think I told you guys that. One thing Brandon kind of mentioned to do is pick out maybe some cute outfits for Hazy because sometimes, sometimes dads don't quite know to pick the right outfits. I'm gonna go through, gather some outfits for her. Just clean up a little bit. I don't need to clean the whole house. I keep thinking I've got to unplug lamps, clean the house. No, I don't need to do any of that because he's still gonna be here. He still needs to live. There are some frozen meals in the freezer for him. <sighs> I'm winded again from walking up the stairs, people. I'm just gonna get some stuff done. I'll take you guys along with me as I pack and get things ready. I'll tell you the first dilemma I'm having. Here's my first dilemma. Itty bitty suitcase, medium suitcase. We normally take the large ones. This all pretty much fits, but it's really squished in there. Or do I just take the bigger one to have more room? Can't decide. I'd rather have more room. I have moved everything over from the small suitcase to the big one. And really, my stuff is just not crammed on top of each other. It's not gonna be super wrinkly when I get it out. You guys like this? I'm super excited about it. I fit my shoes in and I always take more shoes than I even have days. But that's because I never know what's gonna go well with an outfit and I just have a variety of things. Next, I'm gonna pack up my makeup. Actually, getting a lot done. I did clean up Hazel's room a little bit. She's always really good to help me. But I thought, however I can just start this off, she is playing with Ryler. Ryler has been so responsible lately. I know right now he's trying to earn a little bit of extra money. I said, if you'll go play with Hazy outside, entertain her so she's not into everything. You know, like when kids make messes as you're cleaning them up, it feels a little bit like you're brushing your teeth while eating Oreos and you're just like, I'm not making any progress here. I came into her room and I just put together a few outfits. It's just hard because our weather, like sometimes it can be like really cloudy and it will be cold at 65 or sometimes it can be really warm and sunny at 65. She's got a few varieties of like shorts, pants, capris, just all different kinds of outfits so he can choose whichever one. Each one has a bow. And honestly, the best way for him to style her hair is to just brush it and just put a bow right back here. It's easy. He can try to attempt the ponytail if he wants to. I'm also trying to make my morning tomorrow easier by getting her dress set out for church just because my morning looks a little crazy and then we're leaving. So also a few things that I'm going to do. I don't normally leave the family and go on a girl's trip. This is the second time I've done it, I believe, since I've been married in 13 years. I don't go super often. We just went and stocked up at Sam's Club and did a bunch of food for summer. So if you guys haven't watched that video, go over and watch it because we got a lot of really fun stuff. So there's meals for him to be able to cook. Also, they've got some activities all set up so that should be really fun for them. And then I'm gonna write little cards and leave the little kids a treat somewhere that they can get them so they know that I still love them. I'm thinking of them. But let's be honest, they're gonna have a ton of fun with dad. It's not like they're gonna miss me for a second. Everything's taken care of. All he has to do really is have fun. So one of the things I'm gonna do for the kids while I'm gone is give them a cute little card. These are some really cute cards that a subscriber made us and sent to us. I absolutely love them. They're so cute. So I'm just gonna write one to each of the kids. Mom is packing up, getting her stuff together, and not only that, she's getting things ready for us here at home, because she never stops being mom, she never stops thinking of us, and never stops taking care of us. Cannot thank her enough for that. Now, because we do want to take care of you guys, our viewing audience at home, I'm sending mom with the old G7X. She's going to be taking the other vlog camera with her, backup batteries, the whole bit, and thanks to Michelle of Dan and Shell, she's got a laptop to send me footage from, so we'll be including mom's Vegas trip as much as we can into our vlogs while she's gone, and don't you worry, we've got some fun stuff up our sleeve, stuff that mom doesn't even know about, we're going to have some crazy, crazy 
momless fun. Wait, there's no such thing as fun without me. Stay tuned for that. Don't want to miss it. Make sure you are subscribed down below and make sure you are watching these vlogs while mom's out of town to get her perspective in Vegas as well as some of the fun we're having as I try and survive here at home. I'm all packed up. I've got a lot of mostly everything done around the house. So what's like the number one thing you need when you go on a road trip? It's clear number one. Treats. Treats, road treats. trip treats, poolside, everything. I love these. You guys know we've bought these in Hawaii. I bought them for every road trip. Do you want to know where it all started? This actually started two years ago. When I went on a Las Vegas trip with Lindsay and Brittany. Brittany bought these. Lindsay and I felt really guilty because we ate the entire bag. <laughs> and oh my Twizzler Nation, are you kidding me? <laughs> that is every point we're ever made. <laughs> so I saw these oranges and cream, chocolate. Chocolate is the way to my heart. One thing you guys might not know: Have you ever bought those little Twizzlers nibs? Guess what? But they make nib ropes and the Bingham girls love them. So don't worry I'm about four. Oh my gosh I told them five one for each person. That's okay. You have the chocolate one to give those to everybody else. That's a good idea Tootsie Roll Bites. These are very delicious. Those are if you've not surprisingly tried them. so good. Yeah. Tropical Starburst. What's even more fun? Lindsay's gonna make fun of me because she says Werther's or old people candy. Oh, yeah caramel apple filled cocoa filled. Oh, two good choices. And I won't be able to enjoy any of this But everyone else who will be sitting in the back of the car can we've got the latest to do <laughs> 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 we have the latest edition of People. I bought this for Michelle, Brittany, <laughs> and Lindsay because they, they all have, have dogs. dogs. Pioneer Woman, she's amazing. Martha Stewart Living, HGTV. Oh my gosh! You are so awesome. I love that you're so into this. I'm gonna put a magazine on each seat and then they're each gonna have a water and then I'm gonna put a little thing of trail mix on their seat. Oh my gosh, that is so fun. Who's calling? So the last thing that absolutely has to go in my car that I have with me everywhere I go, everybody knows, baby wipes. If you have any sticky fingers, cheesy fingers, anything you have got wipes. I also have antibacterial hand gel both sides of the car. Have both of the exits. When you put the magazines in, you should have everyone refer to the magazine in their seat back pocket. Just for fun. Just <gasps> oh my it. gosh, that's funny. <laughs> Let's funny. do that. <laughs> We are closing this vlog out here, tucking the kids into bed because the next time we're in the vlog, mom won't be with us. It's just gonna be me and the kids. Uh, mom will be off doing her own thing. It's gonna be crazy. Speaking of being with and without kids, you guys, it's already posted by the time you've seen this vlog. If you didn't see our kid swap that we did with the Yaoi family, now they're also the Tannerites. They got two channels, which just hit a million subscribers, you guys. It's amazing. And they had like this amazing celebration in Disneyland where they hit a million. They streamed it live. Fireworks went off. Like it was unreal. Their family vlog channel is Yaoi Vlogs. Go back and watch that. It is so much much fun. We had too much fun putting that together. It was so cool. I think yeah. you guys enjoyed being with them, being in their family. Definitely. <laughs> they got a lot of cool swag from it, I'll tell you that. So make sure you watch both videos. Next time you guys see us in the vlog, mom's gonna be in Vegas. We're gonna Look be here. Look forward to my little travels in Vegas. Make sure you guys come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun surviving. Mom's gonna have a lot of fun partying. Hopefully getting some much deserved and much needed rest and relaxation. You guys, if you saw even a piece of what she did in putting things together for us, even when she's gone, she's still taking care of us. She's amazing. Mm, she deserves this guys. and we're very excited for her to go. We love you. Thank you so much for hanging with our family, loving us and supporting us and being our number one cheerleader. Come back tomorrow. See what we're up to. Oh yeah. We love you guys so much. We'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. Are you wanting me to start right now? Whenever. Today would be awesome though. <laughs> all right, you guys. Hello and good morning to this version. No, I don't know. <laughs> Hello and good morning, everyone. You guys, we, I don't know. Have you already opened the vlog? Nothing. Oh. I just hit record and go. This is the full end of the Hello and good morning, everyone.